The second lesson in modern physics is about energy mass equivalence. In 1905, Einstein published a paper entitled, Does the Inertia of a Body Depend Upon Its Energy Content? In that paper, he wrote, If a body gives off the energy L in the form of radiation, its mass diminishes by L divided by C squared. In other words, this means that energy and mass are equivalent to each other. We are more familiar with the idea of energy mass equivalence in the form of the equation E equals mc squared, where E stands for energy, m stands for mass, and c is the speed of light in a vacuum. Let's take a look at a couple of examples of energy mass equivalence. The first example we'll look at is nuclear fusion. Deuterium and tritium are isotopes of hydrogen. This means that they both have one proton, but differing numbers of neutrons. In the sun, a deuterium atom and a tritium atom can be compressed by the incredible gravitational forces into a helium atom with a neutron left over. The mass of the helium and the neutron that we end up with is 3.13 times 10 to the negative 29 kilograms less than the deuterium and the tritium that we started with. How could we put two things together and end up with less mass? Well, this, quote, missing mass is released as energy. Let's calculate how much. If we plug in a mass of 3.13 times 10 to the negative 29 kilograms and multiply it by the speed of light in a vacuum squared, we get an energy of 2.8 times 10 to the negative 12 joules. This all by itself is not that much energy. But when you have this reaction happening many, many, many times all at once, you do get a lot of energy, such as in the sun or in a nuclear explosion. In addition to using the equation E equals mc squared, there's also another way of finding the energy equivalent of a certain amount of mass or the mass equivalent of a certain amount of energy. Since we're often dealing with very small masses, we sometimes use universal mass units instead of kilograms. One universal mass unit is equivalent to 931 mega electron volts. You can use this equality in a proportion. Let's take a look at an example. A uranium-236 atom will decay into a barium-141, a krypton-92, and three neutrons. The mass of the uranium is 0 0.01897 universal mass units more than the mass of the barium, krypton, and neutrons combined. I want to know how much energy in mega electron volts was released in this reaction. The first step is to set up a proportion. One universal mass unit over 931 mega electron volts equals 0 0.01897 universal mass units over x. If we cross multiply and divide, we get an energy of 17.7 mega electron volts.